Okay, to operate your fridge, uh, round button on the front, button in and hold it, and that switches it on. This is your main menu uh, here, so you can see at a touch of the button exactly what's happening with your fridge. Um, that's your temperature setting. Uh, at the moment, three bars out of five, so five is the coolest uh, that you can set your fridge. You have a panel here with uh, your power source. And at the moment, it's very faint, but it's set on auto and it's uh, showing that it's plugged into 240 volts. With the automatic setting on the fridge, uh, there's very few instances where you actually need to take it off the automatic. So we'll leave it on automatic. And uh, what that does is that its uh, factory preset is number one to find 240 volts. If it can't find 240, it will look for gas. If it can't find gas, it'll be looking to plug into the back of your car. And that's its priorities, 240, gas, and then your car. So when you, uh, with the automatic, when you plug um, your 240 in, it will automatically, whatever it's set on, it'll automatically jump into the 240. Uh, if you pull up to a free camping site, uh, you obviously don't plug 240 in. As soon as you open the gas bottle, it will automatically find that and it'll jump into gas and ignite itself and continue to function. So you don't need to change anything. You just need to allow the fridge, when it's set on automatic, to do what it does. Now to make changes with the fridge, press the button and it will highlight one section of, of the, uh, the menu bar. So simply turn the, the knob to find what it is that you want to change. So let's change the temperature. So select that by pressing. Just turn the knob to adjust it to uh, whatever setting that you want to adjust it to. In this instance, I'm going to make it the coolest it can go. And then I'm going to set that as the setting that I want. So you'll notice that it changed from three bars through to five bars. If you want to change the power source, it's again, press the button. It will simply highlight one section and turn the knob and I'll just keep going through that, but turn the knob to get to the section that you want to change. Select that and turn the, turn the knob to, um, to find what it is that you want to set it on. And I'm going to set it to a manual setting onto the gas setting. I'm going to select that. At the moment, you'll see a red bar and flashing symbols here. What that means is that the, the fridge hasn't found a power source. So while I set it to gas, maybe the gas bottle is empty or maybe I haven't turned the gas bottle on. So it's not recognizing anything and it's telling me that it's, uh, it can't find a power source. I'll press that again and I'll set that back to auto. And I'm going to set it back into auto by just moving the, the box around. So I'm moving it back to the auto. I'm going to press that. And you will see that the, the blue will jump from the gas to the 240 volts because we are plugged into 240 at the moment. And that's just jumped into the 240. So that's what it does automatically. I would leave it on automatic unless I absolutely have to change it to a manual setting. And that's, that's quite rare instance where you'll need to do that.